to another edition of the Sports Desk. Uh, last week we spoke to you guys and told you about our uh, uh, upcoming season. We were talking about the history of sports uh, from when we played back then. Uh, last week we, fe uh, we featured uh, Mr. Ray O'Neill. Uh, he was uh, in, uh, instrumental in helping to start our Olympic movement, uh, getting us into the Olympic Games and, and uh, making us on the inter international scene. And um, we're going forward now. This this uh, week we have uh, softball. We're featuring softball. Next week we'll be featuring uh, horse racing. And then we have cricket. These were some of the founding sports uh, back then that we played uh, when I wasn't even born. <laughs> so now in the studios with me, I just want to welcome you guys. Know him as the GM of softball. I have no other than Mr. Warwin Brewley in the studios with me this evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are we doing today? Well, not bad at all. Okay, uh, we're going to jump right into it. I know, um, like, like, like I said last week, we're trying to do the history of, of, of uh, the sports. I know softball is one of our major sports that we played back then. Mm -hmm. So I just want you to shed a little bit of light of how it was back then. Well, um, <laughs> softball came to this country in the, I think, in the mid-50s, uh, thereabouts. Uh, before that, it was cricket. Everybody played cricket. At that time, the little fellas like myself used to call it bat and ball. Right. Yes? And, right. <laughs> and you played with anything that could <laughs> roll. That's right. <laughs> and when softball came about, I think who brought, well, there's, uh, there's some sort of controversy as to who brought softball mm -hmm. to the BVI. Um, it's between Gaston Penn and Mose Malone. But from, from what I know, Gaston, I know Gaston as the person who was out there encouraging people to play and getting fellas to... I've seen a lot to, of history of Gaston, uh, Gaston. and Sabal. Mm -hmm. And I think most were more involved with the women team. They had a strong team after the men, women started playing and they had a pretty good team. So all of this was back in the 50s? That was back in the 50s, early 60s. There was a, there was a game that was called Rounders. Is, 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 Rounders is, used to be played. Did you play that? I, mean, I played, well, everybody played Rounders <laughs> at some point in time. Yes. <laughs> and and uh, the Rounders that we played, it was a bit different to the Rounders that I see the young ladies play yeah, now. Yeah. But um, you, you had basically, and, and the Rounders we played basically had bases almost like, like a slap out bases, but, right. but again, the, 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 the playing area was a lot smaller. Smaller than, and um, you, you played with a, sometimes you didn't even play with a bat, you, you bat the ball with your hands right, on my right, <laughs> right. That was rounders. That was rounders. Okay. So a ball again came about, you said, in the 50s. It, um, yeah. That, at that time, how, how, I mean, explain to me, how, how many teams, how, how did they get started? How, well, Gaston, you know, was, apparently Gaston had been over in the United States Virgin Islands, and he was uh, uh, walking, you know, right. to, and um, through friends, uh, some friend of his invited him to go and see a softball game up at Lionel Roberts Stadium. Right. And he went, and he was a big baseball fan, but he, uh, he, and he fell in love with the sport, with softball. So when he came back to talk to the BBI, he decided he was going to organize us. So he got fellas like um, Jackie Todman, um, the, the late Bob Buell, mm -hmm. um, uh, people like Delton Francis, uh, I can't, but they were a bunch of young fellas. Walford Hodge, he right. played Mets, <laughs> and uh, you, and and he he encouraged them to he 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 taught them the little bit that he had seen them right. a little bit, you know, and they grew. They went from there. The first, the very first organized softball club on the island was a team called the Titley Tigers. They were sponsored by a merchant, a Rotong merchant by the name of uh, Morris Titley. I right. think that's um, Maxim's father. Okay. Uh, Maxim. right. And he was, he also played, Mr. Titley apparently had seen, played a little bit of softball in his younger days right. in the United States. Right. So he was enthused about having it here in the, in the island, so he decided he was going to sponsor. That was the first organized softball club and um, spearheaded by Gaston Penn mm -hmm. and others. So, um, and then from there, the, he, he cast that man from village to village, right? I mean, to organize. he organized the thing. And then out of that you came the Blue Wings out of Bogus Bay, the Hawks out of um, the Eastern, birds from Seacoast, the Birds, Bay. Out, the the birds the, at that time was called the Hot Shots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had the Rams from over the hill, over up, up um, between Broad Bay, Mears, King Anne Bay. Uh, they, they had that, that team. 
Now, now during that time, because I know growing up in my days, Sabah was, was was a big sport. Oh. You you know, it was like a, a Sunday a Sunday afternoon. Uh, well, Sabah was sports. the sport yeah, right, the yeah. right. At, at, at some point in time, I thought it was actually a national sport being um, played on a Sabah. We well, at one time, yes, I think we had outstripped, we had overtaken cricket, and 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 um, we were the, then the national sport. Everybody. Uh, on a Sunday afternoon, as soon as church was over, everybody oh, yes. oh, yes. <laughs> would head for the Sabal field. Right. And uh, at one time when we played on the, on the, on what is now the A.O. Shirley Ground, right. remember uh, we, yeah, played, I remember there. played there? Yeah, um, People in the Methodist Church could listen and hear because we used to play, we never had lights in those right, days. Right. They would listen and the, 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 the song would carry straight into the church and people, people would want to right. hurry up the service. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes I, I remember some uh, Sabah being played over there, so yes, when they, they, they developed. Uh, yeah, and well, how, how we came to be there is that at one time that they used to have um, the festival, the over, festival over, on the old recreation, uh, on the old recreation right. which right. is now the Ewald and Really right. album. And they had left the grounds in such a condition where they had nails and bottles and all kind of thing, and um, it was it was virtually unplayable. Because right. if you had fallen down over there, you were Chances about to get up with glass yeah. <laughs> glass uh, glass splinters all over you. So then that's why that's how we had shifted to the, the New York, uh, which is now the A.O. Shirley Oh, let ground. me ask you: When was the first time that we actually played international? Uh, First game international was um, uh, they went to Panama. Team went to, in Panama. The Central American and Caribbean. Right. Um, that was our first exposure. That was our first exposure internationally, and the guys did pretty good. They, they, and they could have done better, but. Um, you know, sometimes when you're little time, first time jitters. Yeah, not it wasn't first time jitters. I sometimes when you you're a small country, you get into these these these, these games, and they look at you. They figure you're supposed to be a menu. Right. Everybody should be tough on you, right. but it was not that way. We had guilted edge pitching. We may not have been up in uh, the in the fundamentals as those fellas because right. they played. You know, they've been playing longer than us and whatnot. But we had a pitch in the stop out, anybody. Right. And some of the umpires said, help the bigger teams to beat us. <laughs> <laughs> I, in fact, I, I, I didn't go on the Panama trip at the time. But I was told by one of the players that um, one umpire said to them that they were beating Panama in Panama. Right. And he, to, he told one of the players, he was umpiring for me. He said, look, you think I can stand here and allow you all to beat Panama <laughs> in Panama? He yes. said, no, that can't, can't happen. Right. And they call all kind of cards so that when Panama got on top, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right. I, I, was, I was familiar. I think I had the opportunity to see them play in Colombia. I was there in Colombia when, they, when they, I, I know the Sheeps and, and those guys were over there. So I, knew. And I think at that time, um, you guys had moved up into the big league. Yeah, you, you were playing against the bigger countries, <laughs> yeah, Cuba and those guys. <laughs> When your bracket that time, uh, yep. And so they, they were saying, "Where the small country come from?" And this, exactly, this league, you know. Yep. And it, especially when we went to the Pan Am Games, and uh, we played the United States, and we had them, we held them good. I think they beat us. I think it was three to one, but um, they couldn't believe. They didn't need no way. I mean, they need. They need. No, there was a little country called the BBI. Right. When after the game, the manager from the the United States manager came up to us and he said, let me ask you all something. How big is your country? <laughs> <laughs> so we told him, he said, and the population is only like 20, 25,000 people. He said, yeah. He said, how the hell you all get so many good ball players? He said, man, you all had us frightened, man. Right. <laughs> you know, we, 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 we were up there with them. We, and the Pan Am game, we came fourth behind the United States, Canada, and Cuba. And we beat Cuba, we'd have gotten the, the That bronze. was our highest uh, position in, 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 internationally? Yes, that was our highest position. Now, um, I read somewhere in the history books about um, Gaston Payne back in the days with folks like Mark Simmons and those taking um, teams into the, the U.S. Virgin Oh, yeah, Islands they to used play. to go to, to, to the U.S. Virgin Islands to play. St. Croix, 
They, they, they played more with St. John, and right. at that time, St. John was a powerhouse in the, in the, Car in the, US, the, Virgin, in the Virgin Island. Right. St. John had some big, strong fellas, and all of them could play. Right. The Vaughan Sprow and the, the um, Pimpi and all them yeah. fellas, right. uh, they could, I mean, they really could play. They used to beat all, everybody in the Virgin Island at the time, including us. No, I have a I have a little fella that works with me. His name is called Makata Mosa. Oh, Sam! Very <laughs> 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 good play. <laughs> he played. He, he, brag, he brags a lot about how well he was. Just tell me a little bit about He was a story. good right fielder and an uh, excellent hitter. You know, and uh, he, he 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 played uh, one or two seasons with uh, with the Blue Wings. Actually, he should have been playing with the Blue Wings. Right. because he was from Marcus Bay. Right, right. But. Um, he left the Blue Wings and he, I think he started out with the Hunters first. That was a the, Hunter the team. team. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then he played with the Blue Wings for a couple of seasons. But he played most of his playing days were with the Birds. He was the regular right fielder for the Birds. Okay. And very good fielder, excellent hitter. Uh, now, take us back a little, a little further when you started with, with some of the teams. Uh, what, are, what were, who were some of the stronger teams back then? Back then, well... Because I know you said you had teams off, like from Brewers Bay and, 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 and... The stronger team, well, well, the Tigers started out as a, as a strong team because they, they, they were the playing. ones who... Yeah. yeah. But then the... They were located in town. Yeah, they were located in town. Right. And then it, they started out as a Tigers, then they split the Tigers and, and into what I think the Beavers and the Twins at one time. And then out of that evolved the Astros and the Marlins. Right, I know Astros again from in town. Yeah, they yes. were uh, both the Marlins, Astros and Marlins, the Marlins, 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 yes. yes. And then um, you had the, the team from Marcus with the Blue Wings. Right. They, they were strong. So the birds came in at a later time. And the birds were the hot shots at the time. Right. And, uh, you know, they played on the racetrack. What right, is right. on the racetrack? Right. At, at, the, at that time, they had some fairly good players, but um, they weren't. They were at the, on the top at the right. time. When they became the birds. That's, then, when, that's, that's when I started to get trouble. <laughs> that's when <laughs> Between they started. Between the <laughs> And I know the Astros from in town. I know. Yeah. I know uh, yeah. Give us a name of a couple of some of the players, yeah. good players off the top of your head that you know that, that played well in the game. Well, um, if you look at the Marlins, you had people, the, the, people, well, the Marlins had people like um, Dupa. Right. You had Fletcher Scatliff. You had Rufus Scatliff at one time, Ishmael Scatliff. Yeah, that's, that's my uncle. I know he's supposed to be watching us now. <laughs> and, uh, you had um, Bron Fred Boozer. Right. Um, I remember those names. Um, who was playing with that Marlins? At one point in time, the, the David Tadman Jackie. Right. He made a transition from cricket to South Ball. Right. A, few, a, few, a few players did that. Um, off the top of my head, Marlins, who was the Marlins? Mundo played with the Marlins at one time, but he played with the Astros to remember right, the boy. Right, right. And, um, and these were all fellows from in the town area. From, they were all from the... In those days, the Saba was like village, I mean, insular. Right. You, you're from Rotong, you play on a Rotong. Right, you're right. from Bogus Bay, you play in Bogus okay, Bay. So so you just you just mentioned about the Marlins. Mm -hmm. When you're going to like um, did Western I mean um, Western area had a team. They the later season? on they came with the Blue Jays. Right, um, I remember the Blue Jays. Uh, El, so Blue Jays had a team before they did. Uh, yeah, they had the Rams. They had the late the, the late Donald Turnbull who they right, just died. Yeah, he, he played with the Rams. Yeah, uh, he played with the Rams. People like Donald Turnbull, Eugene Industrious, Dolph Klein, um, Frenchy, Frenchy. Rima. Um And these are guys from over the hill. Them fellows from over the hill. Right. Um, Glenn Industrious. Right. Uh, Panaro. Yeah, of course. <laughs> man. Still playing. Uh, still playing. Yeah, yeah, still playing. <laughs> yeah. And the thing about the Rams, the Rams had a ton of the strong man. Yeah, <laughs> but you see the... You go to a bit to play them fellas. Man, the, them boys and say, we got, we got back up a bush down here with that. <laughs> So back then it was played from village to village. Village to village, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any, anybody's out on the east, on the east side? On the east side, well, they started. When the east started, you had people like Wesley, Wesley Ben, not not the Wesley Ben, probably you know Wesley. They are the Wesley. They are two Wesley. Right, Penn. I know. I'm familiar. And Gavin, his brother, the late right. Gavin Ben, but the Ben, um, Natty Ben and all those guys came Nat, after. Natty and them came after, and. Um, 
people who pitched for them in those days, uh, Name and Rapsat and those came a bit, a, a bit later. Right. But uh, they had a pretty strong team because people like Bertie Penn had played saw ball in, I think, in the U.S. Virgin Islands, so he knew the right. game quite right. well. And what's his name? Um, Sam Henry Pada. Okay, um, the one, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> soldier. Yeah, soldier. Yes. He, he played cricket, he could have hit us all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Those cricket guys transfer, transfer him. You, you don't trust soldier anything, Louis, he would he hit he it like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we have to take a short break. We're going to come uh, right back with a word from our sponsor, Stick and Stay. Yeah, man, they had Sports Desk is sponsored by Flow. This is us. This is how we work. This is how we play. This is how we live. This is us. This is how we flow. Welcome to our newly renovated Botanic Service Station to serve you better and faster. We carry Saul Gasoline, the best gas that will take you further and keep your engine running cleaner. To make that delicious meal at home or restaurant, we have LPGs from 20 pounds to 100 pounds, readily available for your easy pickup right here at Botanic Station. While you are here, check out our deli for finger licking snacks from pizzas, hot wings, patties, cakes, all made fresh every day. And cold drinks that's always cold. Need oil for your vehicle? We carry a wide selection of vehicle maintenance products. We are open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. When it comes to your health, being uninsured is never an option. Listen to some sound advice. Magico's Nagicare is one of the best medical insurance plans your money can buy. We offer you solutions to medical coverage benefits tailor-made to your budget and preferences so that the next time you visit a doctor, you can rest assured that we've got you covered. Visit our website, Nagico.com, or contact a Nagico office or agent near you. Nagico Insurances, we've got you covered. Sing BBI, we're them to the sky, rock from side to side, vacation for you and I. Hands, sing BBI, we're them to the sky, rock from side to side, vacation for you and I. Come out and enjoy your country, local foods like fish and fungi, rates you can afford, enjoy hotel sailing and more, me tell them. No need to go nowhere, we have what you need right here. Relax at our resorts and take a sightseeing tour. Come on out and you should take this opportunity to have a vacation station for you and me, Mr. Levans. Sing BBI, we're them to the sky, rock from side to side, vacation for you and I. And now it's time to plan your BVI staycation. Visit us at www.bvistaycation.com. This is a message from the BVI Tourist Board's staycation campaign. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. If you're just joining us in the studios, we have um, no other than the GM himself of softball, Mr. Walvin Brulee. He is here talking about the history of softball, where it came from, uh, where we are, and where we plan, we're planning on going. Right now, we were just giving you a, a, 
a history a window looking back at the days of uh, the old and how it got started and stuff. Last week we had uh, Mr. Ray O'Neill, he was here uh, talking about the Olympic movement and how uh, we got to where we are as far as internationally. So right now we're into softball. Next week we have some more for you also, but we'll get back into softball. Uh, Mr. Bruley, be before, we, um, while you're through the, the, the break, we were talking about the women in softball. Go okay. ahead and mention some of them to me. And how yeah, that got the, women, the women started out shortly after the men. <clears throat> And this was back in the 50s? That also. was back in the 50s, right. late 50s. They, the women started out. And they, they used to be trained by, by um, a young man out of St. Thomas. I, I don't know how he got away. But he had roots over. He was a Bratwit. His name was Archibald Bratwit. Right. Everybody called him Kong. Right. So the old folks might remember him as Kong. And he was a trainer for these girls. They, uh, they, and I think Moses used to be the manager, Moses right. Malone. When Manoda got brought, he was managing. But you had people like Ivina Monsanto now boils. Right. Um, her great, my great granddaughter now plays. Um, right. <laughs> uh, you had um, Irene Hodge. You had the the two Bruley girls, Isola Bruley and Valera, the late mm -hmm. Valera, uh, Valera Bruley. You had Leola. Leola Todman, she was a star pitcher at the time. Mm -hmm. Then a bit later on, Bernie Smith. The Louis same Smith. Bernice for insurance? Uh, no, Bernice, no. Bernice for, she's Louis' sister. Okay, uh, okay. She, she, you see her, you see, Bernice, you see her walk in the street. You never know. Uh, you never know. Right. But she was, she was, she was really a good pitcher, you know, and, um, I know you have some scatliff women in the Oh, <laughs> Dapu and <laughs> da, da yeah. and Valeria yes, and yeah. all them girls played. Yeah. And uh, Susie, uh, they all played. Mava, I think, played some. Um, then uh, you had Dorothy, Dorothy Durant. She played in the outfield. Um, and right. these, these girls also had opportunity to travel. They tra Leonel, how oh, could I forget Leonel? Leonel, uh, right. <laughs> George, everybody calls her cook. That's right. um, Woodrow's mother. Okay, the picture. Yeah, that's, that's where, where you, you get the picture from. That's where you get the picture from. And, uh, uh, yeah. uh, they traveled to, they, they, their first uh, international travel, they, they went to um, El Salvador. And they, 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 they did pretty good in El Salvador. Um, that, that was their first outing. But they used to go to St. Thomas and, and St. John and play. Yeah. And so St. John was really the softball capital at, at that time? Yeah, at that time, yeah. Right. So if you could play in St. John and win yeah. games, yeah. You, you, you could probably beat up on some people. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, they went. They 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 went to uh, El Salvador. I think who was the who managed them? I know Foxy went. To, uh, Foxy was there. I know Baron, but I'm not sure whether he. But these guys played also back then too. I know Baron. Yeah, and he, Foxy. And Foxy guys. was a good catcher. You know, right. Foxy was a pretty good catcher. Right. And then when he stopped playing, he became a manager. He managed the Astros. Wait, but the hippie was a good catcher too. Hippie was a first class. Oh, That's a, that was the Astros catcher. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, remember, I remember watching hippie many a times. Sitting down and throwing you out. <laughs> yes. That was Elmo number one catcher. Yeah, and, and again, Elmo uh, Connor, uh, big time oh, pitcher. Yeah, they, yeah. He was a big time pitcher. He was an Astros big dog in those days. And, and they were a team to look at that yeah, at the time. Yes. Astros had um, Ralston Daly Rabbit. Right. He, he was a he. He was one of those pitchers who had a ton load of stuff, man. He was like how sheep was. Right. Rabbit was like that. He could right. throw the ball, all kind of pitches. But a lot of times, he, he rabbit, rabbit was. If he used to use his head, he had the smart. He used right. the smart. He, he would have been hard to beat. Had anybody would have got them, uh, got them beat. Now, he was good. Now, folks, if you want to weigh in on the conversation, our number is on the screen, 541-7541, if you want to send us a text. If you want to ask any questions, uh, give us a call or send us a text. Uh, we'll be willing to answer them for you. Now, Mr. Brody, looking at softball now, I mean, what are your thoughts? Well, softball now is... <laughs> softball has, is, has been on the decline for some time now. And the reason why softball is, is that we... We're not getting any good pictures coming, coming through right but now. But let me ask you, since you mentioned that, back in your time, was Sabal taught in the schools? It was 
after my well we had we had organized a softball team in school right uh, with my so you played, played through the school yeah we played we played and um then afterwards when 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 the secondary school became the bbi high they played softball in yes school. and i know there was they a lot of people play. people like sleepy and paisano and and ellie bit and and they came and out of high school all play. of them came out of high school by the time they graduated they were ready for the bigs right and right now we not it's all about that that for some reason it took some all out of school and and that has kind of declined declined the yeah that's not the sport because right been. now i know where they're struggling to make teams i mean and you know it it, it it doesn't look good no so your suggestion if they wanted to get it back up and running would we be we have to we have to do like what soccer is doing now start from the primary school and you know and uh, but then you need some good coaches coaches right but the thing is we have people here who can coach we have a ton load of latino fellas all of and them uh, all play the sport right and all, all, most of them can coach right but the thing about that they're going to ask you how much you're paying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Some of them have the children in the school system, right. which, would, which should give them the incentive to come and help the school. I mean, if you organize a school team, help the school team. Because right. to, to, to I know that there are houses in, in, in a school that competes in the different sports. I think softball, I don't know if it's it, 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 it still yeah, I remember softball. when they, they, they used to compete. Years ago, I was one house. Then right. Was, uh, but right. Not for Back one, then, two and yeah. three years. Yeah, in my time. And that's where, the, that's where Paisano and Sleepy and, and Mantle and right. all of those guys. That's how they. When they uh, that's how they came, they come up to the system. Right. And by the time, I think guys like Shaba and them came up to the same. Andrew, yeah, 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 yeah Andrew came up to the same they system. Came the system. Uh, Shawala and uh, those guys. All of those yeah. fellas yeah. came yeah. through that system. I think I have a call on the line. Let's see what's going on here. Good evening. You're on the sports desk. Hello, good evening. What is your name? Mr. Brody? Yes. It seems like you stopped getting one softball team. <laughs> Which one is this? One of the Francis brothers. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they were a kind of a tra they, they were a traveling team. And they came Basically, from where? They, the Francis brothers, they were, they were all uh, one family. Oh, okay. Fletcher and Popeye and the Delta and... Uh, and Dupa and, uh, okay. uh, and Rupert, all of them, one family, you know. Right. That family have a ton of talent, <laughs> a ton of talent, yes. really bit, and all of them. And they, they, they used uh, to shake up the league. Uh, yeah, well, they never played in the league. But right. after the league, they would fall themselves into the what they call the Francis brothers, and they would band stop. They go sit down and sit down and, 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 and play. And yeah. Again, we were back to um, trying to jumpstart softball. Because, I mean, even, even I know in my time, like I said, there were a lot of women playing. There were a lot mm -hmm. of girls playing also. There were a lot of guys playing. That's where, like I said, the guys from, like, um, Andre and, 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 and those guys that mm -hmm. came through. I know, um, I mean, if, if, I had, if I had to say some of the best of our players, I know Andre name would come on the Oh, time. yeah. Shout yes. out David. Yes. Mm -hmm. and he, he was um, looked at at some couple teams he, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the Cubs, when the Cubs came here. And, and, and Koi again. Yes. Yeah, they had... They, they, you know, they had, they were scouted. Right. But, um, you know. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know Miss, Miss Parsons too, uh, also played a big role. With, oh, in yeah, Salva. she, in, in women's alba and in, in men's alba. I've she traveled was, with her on a men's alba. She, yes. she was the secretary for the Salva Association when I was president. Right. Yeah, and um, we travel all about together as uh, with teams and sometimes when, when, you, when we don't take a team, you travel for conferences right. and whatnot. Right. After Miss Pass, and then it was Juliet Penn right. and myself. And I was supposed to get on the show tonight, but <laughs> hopefully I'll have her next week. <laughs> yes. No. But Miss Pass really played a starring role here, with, especially with the ladies. The first lady team that went abroad, Miss Pass, I think she, I don't know if she was playing, but she, she was the organizer. She was she cooking mud washer and everything. Right. They went to Saint, uh, they went to St. Thomas to play down there, and they play, they had played in a tournament in Saint and in Saint Croix, and um, they did well. No, I was about to ask you though, with the teams that left from here and went into Saint John, uh, how good did uh, were we able to? Win any games in any tournaments, or well, it was just like a, a, a stepping stone. Uh, uh, there, uh, at at the beginning, 
St. John Hobbs had the strongest team right. in the world, and right. they, they used to beat us up, but after a while... When you learn the game. Yeah, when we, <laughs> <laughs> when we learn the game, we found ourselves beating everybody, I mean, St. John, St. Croix, St. Thomas, until BBA were top dog in South well, in the region. Right, in, I, I remember that. Area. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, um, there's a transition I see a lot of, of younger, instead of going into South Wales, they're going into baseball. The, yeah, the youngsters are, are, are now heavily into Little League Baseball, and that's uh, as a result that of um, Shino. Right. Shino um, coaches them uh, in the afternoon, and uh, they, and with, uh, with, uh, with, with baseball, they have a better chance of maybe getting a, getting a college education right, right. and that type of thing. The ladies know they can... They can get yeah, scholarships they can get scholarship Yeah, because I've seen, because I've, I've been to some, some schools. Yeah. So they have some big time schools oh, yeah. in the United I, States. I, I've been to some of them and I saw Sabah <laughs> playing at that level. I mean, I see some big thick white girls yeah, pitching man, and they, stuff. They, they I throw mean, the ball 70, 70 odd There you go. And, but uh, when I look at the Sabah players, internationally and I look at the ones that we have here when I look at the size of them I'm wondering if these guys play football <laughs> and what are we doing that you know what they're doing that we're not doing uh, true but the uh, thing that we have them with again is the pitching the, yeah we used to we had guilt at edge pitching in those days the right. broad head leader level spit the same the 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 and, and uh, the Jackson Smith Raymond right. Smith Flopper Matthias and you know we used to, we could dominate anybody in, in our region in pitching, but what they had a lot of time was was the fundamental. They, right. Like you play Cuba, you might Cuba may only have two or three hits off you. Right. But, but you, the feeling, the feeling, the, the feeling Cuba used to play for one run, yeah. and once they get one run ahead of you, that's they it. shut they shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all it takes to win the game. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, I've, I've had some conversation with uh, some teams outside of the BVI. Uh, the older guys within the, the 40 plus, 50 plus range that wants to come and play with the BVI. I've been trying to get a hold of Chappie. I think he was the president at that time. Mm -hmm. And I'm understanding now that the Latinos or the Spanish guys are now organizing some kind of league yeah. with effect to that. Okay. Um, uh, these guys, um, I was talking to some guys from Puerto Rico. They play just about every weekend. Uh, some teams in the U.S. Again, I was talking to. They want they want to be able to come down and play. So I was trying to organize um, something with that effect, uh, you know, just so we could start bringing back the, the folks to Sabal and start generating some kind of interest through the young ones. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. But then, like you just say, now it's so difficult with Sabal, you know, trying to get it back up and started. I see now the ladies are the league for the ladies are supposed to be starting sometime soon. Oh yeah, Shino is, is trying to organize a league for. Kind of like beginners, ladies who just want uh, introduction. I mean, yeah, introductory league, right? An instructional league, so to speak. And um, I don't know if I is with it, but uh, I I know some have, a couple I've known have been on the field. I saw a lot of ladies there, big, small, and in between. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the idea. That's, I mean, starting someplace. Yes. Now, uh, you were also inducted into the Hall of Fame of softball. Yeah, that was uh, 1999. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that... Um, I mean, uh, from, from a place, is a dot and a map. <laughs> <laughs> a person like you to be inducted, it, it had to be something I, that you were doing good. I, I have been... Uh, you know, I, I was softball president for a number of years here. And uh, I, I attended most of the conferences. Wherever there was a softball conference, I attend between... First it was Ms. Pass and myself, uh, and then later Juliet and myself. And um, I serve on a lot of com a lot of the commissions. Yeah, I was about to ask you that. The yeah. Empire Commission, the the um, the Administrative Commission. The and this is all international sawbar. Yeah, yeah, international sawbar. And um, you know, I got I got to know everybody in sawbar. All, all the big ones, the Don right. Porters and, and the, 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 the gentleman who's now in charge from Canada, who's the, now the president, I uh, don't remember his name right now. But all of them, I got to know them quite well. So do they now still call on you for advice or information? Uh, they, well, not right now, no. <laughs> but um, I, when I was president uh, and, and, and thing, we, 
lot of time I would sit in on, even if I was not a commission, I would sit in right. just to know, uh, find out what they were up to and, right. and what was going on. For instance, when they were having the Empire's Commission, if I was not an umpire, I would go there and I would sit in and make suggestions and, 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 and whatnot and playing rules and things. Sometimes they wouldn't take you on, on with that because some of the bigger countries like the United States and Canada and Australia, they, they, have their own, their own they dominate. That's how this push and drag thing came about. Right. When it came up, I told them, you all shouldn't be doing this thing, man. You put a big six-foot fella on, on the mound and you tell him you can push and drag. By the time he deliver, you almost sit down. <laughs> <and stop. laughs> You're <kissing my> hand. <laughs> And those guys can trust our ball like oh, yeah. 90, 90 because, miles I mean, hour. from here to there, yeah. they jump alone <laughs> and kill somebody. And no matter how I try to tell them that day, I, one fellow from New Zealand told me, you fight in a losing battle. I said, I said, how? He said, you ain't going to get the United States. You know, Australia and Canada, they already played it. Right. I said, but that's why they want to bring it. They yeah. Changing the rules. Yeah, they yeah. Change yeah. the rules to suit themselves. Right. <laughs> well, we're going to take another quick short break and we're going to come up with a wrap up. Guys, just stick and stay. And more softball uh, history is here for you. <laughs> Sports Desk is sponsored by Flow. This is how we flow. This is us. This is how we work. This is how we play. This is how we live. This is how we flow. This is how we flow. For decades, BVI has relied on financial services for its economic prosperity and the standard of living we've come to enjoy. Times have changed. Competition has grown. International pressures have intensified. And the BVI must adapt. BVI Forward is the government's strategy to strengthen the financial services industry. It is a campaign of far-reaching initiatives serving as the engine that will drive the continuing evolution and innovation of financial services in the BVI. This will help to maintain the territory's competitive advantage in the context of changing international regulatory landscape and growing competition. There are 10 initiatives under the BVI Forward campaign. Revamp the International Finance Centre, strengthen the business development function, engage the population, build BVI lander capability, pursue tax initiatives, enhance customer service at the Financial Services Commission, attract and offer value-added services, reform immigration and labour, invest in infrastructure and establish a dedicated delivery unit to coordinate and drive implementation. BVI Forward. It's about me, it's about you, it's about all of us. It's about working together to safeguard the future prosperity of the British Virgin Islands. Again, folks, um, in the studios with us are uh, no other than the, the GM for Sava, Mr. Warwin Broly. Uh, and inductee and, and uh, Hall of Fame, uh, sharing the information on the history of softball and, and where we are, um, where we was, where we are, where we need to go. Um, and during the break, we had a, a slight discussion about, you know, getting softball back to where it was. And I think one of the things that he's saying is that um, the interest needs to come back into the schools. Um, a lot of the folks who played softball before, you know, try to put back in some, give back into the sport and, and, and help to, um, you know, enhance the sport again. From the, from the days of sheep and those guys that, that you know, this on the way out we have, you know. That is, that is, that, that is the, the, the why Salva is declining. That is the, uh, the reason why they're declining is not getting people to, who are given, who are given back. I remember when, um, in the early days, when Foxy Arnold Brown was the manager of the Astros, 
he would go to the field, like how Shinor goes to the field area. I, no, I'd see him doing that with Foxy women. Foxy would go to the field, and and he didn't care which team you uh, you, right. you played for. Once interested. Once you were interested, he would teach you whatever. To, he would begin with the fundamental and teach you bat balls you all afternoon if you need. Yeah. And you know that's the kind of that's the kind of thing we need to get back into. Shinor alone can't do it because exactly. he he have a ton load of be men and little boys and what that right. baseball and softball and whatnot. But he needs we need he needs some help. What what about um in the villages like you used to do back then, the folks on the villages who are familiar with the game started from in the villages yeah. with the young source. That's another thing we need to, to, to get going because Because everything is centralized. I mean everything that we do is coming into town. Into town and yeah, we're not getting the opportunity yeah. to go out of the town to play like back then. And and it's the same thing I think for every sport, it's the same thing for basketball. Yeah. You know, all the sports are coming yeah. in town. Not knowing that you know you could go out of town and and, and do well. I exactly. mean, right now the the number of, well we have some ball field. We have one in Seacoast Bay. They we have the they, one they, in Kapu. They run a league down there, but yeah, 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 this yeah. Crew, that's a modified. Uh, right. We have one in 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 Kapun Bay, Bay where the girls play. Um, we supposed to have one in Greenland. The, the there's you one. Had, you had one in Bruce Bay. Now that's gone. That's gone. Right. Uh, and um, we have one in Marcus Bay, the military. Exactly, Marcus exactly. Uh, exactly. Right. So there's still so areas that... There's still areas where they can play. And um, and all of these communities have ex softball people who had played softball, who had been good at softball. And so we got a lot of return blue wing players who can organize the, the young still fellas them right. in, in Marcus Bay and, and get a team going in Egypt, not just the young, the, the girls and the boys. And the same thing can be said for Eastern Long Rock and Red Mercy Coast, but... I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because we, we have an influx of a lot of our young people getting in trouble. And I think if something like what you're talking about gets started where these, uh, these same gentlemen that they look up to, you know, put some time into the youngsters, I think we can kind of curb a lot of that. Uh, yeah, you channel the energies right. into, into good things exactly. rather than sitting around and, and getting and, themselves know, into mischief. Exactly, exactly. I mean... It is something to think about, folks. If, if like I said, um, I'm in, in the studios with Mr. Mr. Broly. He, he's uh, the pioneer, head, spearhead, along with Mr. Miss Parsons, for softball. And you know, like I said, I grew up watching softball just about every Sunday. I know my dad used to uh, manage one of the teams. Oh back yeah, the hunters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't mention it, I know I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> He's yeah, always talking about it. I know he managed uh, one of the teams back then. But again, like you're saying. There needs to be um, an influx of the past players giving back to the present, you know, trying to give, you know. Cause I, I spoke to the same Makata Morsa about, mm -hmm. you know, getting some of those old guys back into play in their age bracket. And he was enthusiastic about it, you know, well, he said, you know, to get them all yes, even when I was the pres with president and people like him had, uh, had, uh, had retired during, you know, the, uh, and, and then they, they would, Say, well, we want to, we still want to play, but we right. don't want to play fast with these exactly. fellas. Exactly, so you play among your age we, And I told, what I had said to them, enough for you that we, we can have a league. But go you can have a league in any village. Organ, yeah, right. Go out there and you will organize yourself a team. Once you get a team organized, bring it and, and then we'll, present, we'll, it. We'll, yeah, right. present it. We'll write, a, we'll make a schedule and as soon as the, uh, the men's are about fast pitch league is over, your league can start. Exa and, and I think, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, never, no, they never did anything. You see, that's the thing. Somebody always has to come in and uh, jumpstart uh, these things, uh, you know. And I, I figured what they wanted it was for the Saba Association to actually go in organize this team for them. That's but let me, uh, talking about Sarval Association, let me ask a question. How does the Sarval Association get its funding, or how does it run? Um, really and truly... Are you guys for affiliated with an international we, source? Yeah, we are we affiliated with with the International Sarval Federation, ISF. Then we, we have been we affiliated with two regional things, the Confasa and the Concacas. One of them runs... Um, the Pan Am game, which is Compasa, and the other one is um, the the Central American and Caribbean game, Concacaf. Right. We we that's three organization organization we're in, but the ISF isn't like FIFA. The ISF 
struggles. They mm. don't have the money to, to, to right. they would give you expertise. They probably send you, umpire, I mean, people to coach and, uh, coach and, and Well, I think that's where we need to and start. And a lot of time you ask them for them and they don't send them. They, I promise you, but they, <laughs> but they, we, they don't send them. We have, a, we have a call ahead coming in again too. Good evening, you on the sports desk? Yes, Carl, let's call. Good night. Good night, good night. Mm. Only in the BVI, the guys who retire from the sports, who just leave the sports and, and ain't, look, ain't look back. All, uh, uh, TV. All what they, they, they just do is look at money, money, money. <laughs> so they're not, yeah, they're they're not, they're not giving back. No, it's Santa Domingo, you see the old guys who used to play the sports every afternoon. Also, then guys play a um, modified um, game in Santa Domingo. Mm -hmm. But when you look at Barros Bay, Barros Bay have a lot of little boys. We um, those guys, you know, who used to play the game, the motor, the after have children and they could have picked up a set of them, not nothing, they're playing by Nick. You know, these are things that, that look at St. Thomas. Those guys, you know, who to play the sport, every Saturday you see them little, them down, they training them little boys in baseball, putting their time out. But everything with us is money and pay. How much you pay, eh? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all our problem in, in PBI is they gonna pay me? Why am I gonna pay me? Who pay me? You know, long time call. When they used to have a little base, little league baseball, they used to have some teams fit out. Then you could have turned them into a softball team. Of course. I'm familiar. I always, I always used to speak about that. All you have to do is turn one of the players them. Uh see them in fast pitch. And you have a complete team. You don't have to make a team. But then but then um Carla, too, you have to understand management goes a, a long way. If you don't have somebody who has the mindset and how to get things started and, 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 and keep it going, we don't always fall short at the wayside. That's why I always say um, when, we, when we're picking presidents for associations, you, you, you know, I think your presidents or your body for associations should come with a plan for the next four years, for the next eight years, you know, suggesting where, where we are, where we plan on going, what we plan, how we plan on get there. I think that's how association members should be picked. And I think that's a problem that we have. Because yeah, we, yeah, we pick our friends yeah, and, and, and partners and stuff, and they don't, they don't have a clue. Yeah, yeah but Carl, we, we have an also issue, though, that when somebody starts to do something good, jealousy does come behind and start to pull against the person also. And everything for along. Look at... Um, the two, uh, the guy that used to, the uh, white chap, them who used to. For baseball. Had baseball going. I agree. <laughs> the jealousy and who white this and who white that. They don't look at the, the, the thing that the person bring into the game. The, 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 the finance and everything to the game. As soon as they get it on top and you, you get things going, they give you one, they want to give you a kick over the, over the cliff. You understand? I have to give GM, GM, um, like the sport that, you know what he got? The DNA in it. He <laughs> does like what he's doing. Yes. Well, it, that's why he's here tonight, you know, because if anybody can guess the history of that, and Sarbal is him. Well, listen, if Sarbal used to be at, te if Sarbal used to be at television, right? Mm -hmm. It would have helped. Because children going at what they say on television today, Carl. Okay. Well, in our days, it used to be radio, you know. Right. Uh, you when could I, see, you could see nothing. <laughs> no, you couldn't see nothing, but you could hear. Exactly. When I took over ZBBI as a general manager, on Sunday afternoon, they used to, they, they used to play a, a lot of you know, what they call easy listen music, the right. soft stuff. Yeah, the old stuff. Uh, yeah, and, and the few commercial in between. So I then said, well, 
there are a lot of people who, a lot of the older folks who were not able to come to the ballpark, but like to hear what the team are course, doing. Of course. So I decided, when we not having sponsored program, we'll bring South Bar. Right. And we brought South Bar and, and every was blue to the radio. Sunday. It was and blue. yeah, man, people will, and that is what helped to really right. grow the sport. Right. You know, and um, since then, nothing has, I, uh, when I left, uh, nothing has happened. I mean, if you want to get to your, your sport on the radio, you have to pay it. <laughs> That's right. But like, like, like the caller said, everything right now is money. money. You know what I mean? That's but then the, I, I, I still think that there's people out there who's willing to sponsor. Once something is organized and they can show value for money, yeah, they're, they're, will, they're willing to sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because like, like you said, with the, with the baseball thing, I was a part of that baseball thing. I had kids playing. My little kids started from the peewee, from the, you know, bat and ball, uh -huh. you know. And it was, it was growing. And every community had a baseball team. And again, I think that was a transition from baseball well, into, into South South Bar. Because a lot of them, once they get over the 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 age, the the transition. Yeah, they would make. But then the again, like he said, you know, some people feel like it was too good for them to do, and you know, they, they try to cut in and, and then kill kill the whole thing. Well, so I, I I agree with him to a certain extent, but I th I still think that you know we can do a lot better. We we talk a lot, but we don't but walk we don't, a lot. Uh, that is true. We 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 talk <laughs> we talk a good fight, but we don't fight that good fight. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so Carla, I, 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 yes, yeah, sir, you still there? Listen, I got you. Listen, you know it it have a, a modified uh, TV screen. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard about that. I, I heard a mention, but I don't. I don't know of the team. Well, it has um, one young lady playing in it. Uh, one young lady from That's up here. Uh, yeah, guy, guy Dasa. Okay, okay. She she, she playing sharp, tough for them. Yeah, is she playing on a, a female team or is she playing on a male team? That's that a man team. <laughs> so she's playing <laughs> with the guys. Huh? She's playing with the guys. Yeah, she's playing with the guys. Sharp stuff. Well, I know, I know there's a movie that's coming out now called Pitch with a female, um, a first female pitcher to play in the majors. <laughs> so, if she's doing but, that, you know, she's, she's, she, I, you yeah, know, I applaud her. She, she can play and, 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 and I mean, she, she, she can, uh, I mean, she can rough out with her like a man too, so she, <laughs> <laughs> so Daria, Daria would fit herself right in there yes, for real. Yes. <laughs> and, and before, before I go, um, Carl. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Next month. Okay. You know, the Latinos have tried to fundraise to help the little young guys that play baseball. Okay. Okay. So, so I, I, I appreciate that information. Yes, yeah, so next month they have a tournament coming up. They're putting it together. Well, hopefully, um, somebody from that, that group or club would, would you know, get in contact with me so we can bring them on show and advertise it. Yeah. That would be a good thing. One, 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 one hatchet, I think you should put check with him. I'll, I'll do so. I appreciate that. All right, see you. Have a good day. Have a nice night, brother. All right, All right. thanks a lot. <laughs> Again, Jim, we're going to wrap up. I mean, this is the end of our show. Like I say, I, I want to thank you for coming and sharing a lot of the information yeah, with us. Any, history. Anytime you need but me, just get you, you, you have my number there. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to call on you again because, yes. like I said, you know, there's a lot we need to do in order to yeah, jumpstart up right. our, our, our programs. And I don't know if our, if our government, our ministers are listening, but, you know, sports was an avid thing for us back in the days. It used to help us, you know, stay out of trouble, so to speak. That, that is true. And in and, and, and every sport that we do right now, I think it needs a lot of assistance. And I don't think that we, we're putting enough energies back into it. Like I said, the, the, the folks that were part of the sports need to start coming and giving back to the sports in order for the sports a to A lot of the old players here need to come and, 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 and help out. And don't yeah. ask about money, man. You, you, you yeah, just yeah. come. Once, then once then we get to a spot, then uh, things will start happening. Yeah, happen. that's true. Yeah. Uh, you know, people, people, uh, when, uh, people always think that I got paid for what I do on the South Bar. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't. Uh, this, is my, I, this is my giving back to the community. Right. I right. go down there and I, I, um, I would score. I would announce and, and do whatever I have to do. And just to make the sport, right. uh, you know, keep the sport alive. Right. Once again, folks, I guess we come to the end of our show. I want to thank Mr. Broly for coming in again. Uh, next week, we are featuring horse racing. We'd have a...
no other than the Honorable Miss Patsy Lake. She'll be here to give us the history of horse racing. As, as you know, she had some honorees back then. She's going to give us some history of that. That was one of our main sports back then, too. And also, um, week after, hopefully, we'll have some, someone for cricket, because I think cricket was one of our main sports back then, too. A lot of uh, these older folks are talking about cricket as a sport. So we're going to get in some information on that and find out how we can assist and you know, where we're going with sports. Again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, this has been a great show. You, you, you know my, my co-host is not here, so I'll have to hold on the fort by myself, but hopefully he'll be here uh, next time. When cricket comes, I know he'll be here for sure because he was one of the past presidents. So I'm going to target him on that show. But again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, Mr. Broly, again. Uh, oh, I know I could call on you anytime. Yes, now. man, anytime, yes. anytime you, you can call on me. And again, to Just Van Dyke, Virgin God, and Tatola, it's been great. Thank you guys for tuning in, and have a good night. Sports Desk is sponsored by Flow.